Hey Chica Girls, we're back at NBC's Friday Night Lights. Tonight's event benefits Gridiron Heroes, a program that provides for spinal cord injuries through high school football. The stars are just about to come down. Let's see what they have to say. How are you feeling tonight? Um, I'm feeling like, you know, even though it's over, it's not over. It's one of those wonderful things that continues because of this. I'm just glad to be out here for a good event. You know, it's, it's just such an awesome privilege, not just to be in San Antonio and being a native Texan, but to come down here and do something so amazing. I'm a father myself. And to see a kid go through such turmoil, and now God has changed it and made it such a great thing. I can't do anything but say, Thank you. Explain to me what Gridiron Heroes is. Gridiron Heroes was started by a young man who was injured in a football game, a high school football game. And um, he and his family started to, after a lot of pain and sadness, makes me cry, um, turned their lives around after he was diagnosed as paraplegic. Um, and found their way with their pain and sadness by helping other young men who were on football teams who had been injured thusly. What do you think about Gridiron Heroes? I think that people always need help healing and an organization that's helping people do that is a good organization. I think that you have honest, sincere people who, um, like I said, are putting in so much heart and so much dedication to such a worthy cause and uh, so I'm not surprised that it's been able to grow. I think they've been blessed. Yeah, my dad and I started the organization and to see it just progress as it is and Getting all the support we've had is truly a blessing. If you meet Chris and you meet Eddie, and uh, we've had the opportunity to meet the uh, the, the Bonacani's father and son too, and just what they do and the the tragedy they've been through, and how they've turned it into um, something positive, uh, it's just it's sort of stunning. It's incredible. My brother gave me a good piece of advice when I was a kid. He said, "Out of everything bad, you know, there's something good. You got to find it." These people, out of everything bad, there's something great and they've created it. Chica Girl Magazine, we're all about inspiring and motivating young teens. What kind of advice would you like to give them? Believe in yourself, surround yourself with positive people, um, and just and just keep push, pushing. Perseverance is the key. I can tell you that if you follow your dreams and you follow your goals, then good things will happen. When you find out what your purpose is in life, you will feel at home. You will feel at peace. It'll feel like fun. It won't be work anymore. It'll be... It'd be fun to be like going to a family reunion every day, you know, seeing someone that you love every day. So when you find that, you, 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 you'll succeed in life. My word of advice is you're going to fail more than you'll succeed. Yes. But the key is getting back up yep. and trying again. Never give up on your dreams. Um, I had dreams of playing college football and though I don't get to play anymore, I'm still involved with football. and college coaches, so, uh, never give up. I mean, you never know what's going to happen, so something down the road could happen for you, and it'll be great. Hey, Chica Girls, we're just about wrapping up. Check out our interview and plenty more on chicagirlmagazine.com. Signing out, this is Sarah Gannam. <laughs>